Tamamayu Monogatari is a Japanese RPG that became known as Jade Cocoon when it was released outside of Japan. As far as localizations go, it's a really solid one, and the only changes are pretty much what you would expect from this kind of project. So they tightened up the spelling for certain characters' names, like Mabu, and they gave the American version some questionable box art. Otherwise, all the characters and concepts are presented the same in English as they were in Japanese. Except for one. In the localized version of the game, you can find minions that look like giant mollusks or squids just hanging out in the moth forest and the eternal corridor. Now these minions are actually exclusive to the English versions of the game, because in the Japanese version, you find little fairies instead. Now unlike most of the other minions, which have a small, medium and large variant, the fairies have a unique model and only appear in this form. They do grow as they level up, just like the other minions, but they only have the one base model. Also, since the fairies are minions, you can merge them too. The fairies have a non-elemental special attack with a plus accuracy modifier, and the level 2 magic spell of whatever element they currently have. They have a really good magic attack and defense stat, and they are quicker than a hiccup, which is always good. They also have a chance to drop Night Glow, a really useful weapon for Levant that poisons minions on contact. In fact, they're exactly the same as the tentacle snails that we got in the localization. So why did they take the fairies out of the game? Well, there's two theories on that. First, with all the weird and wonderful beasts in the game, it's a little bizarre to have a human on your team. Especially since you can put a human skin on other monsters. It looks like a body horror movie. And secondly, and most probably, the blackface. Come on, Japan. I think the race issue is the more likely explanation, because there's no right way to handle it. Like, you can't show racist caricatures, but whitewashing them would also be pretty bad. The game takes place in an East Indian culture, but at the same time that has its own potential for racial insensitivity, so screw it, chuck it all out and replace them with blob monsters instead. Interestingly, if you pick through the data on the English version of the disc, you can find various pieces of concept art from the game's art book, and one of the images is Asha. She looks a little bit better here than she does in-game, but not much. And the only way to see this is to go through the localized disc with a media ripper. So there you go, a quick look at one of the most significant changes made when Jade Cocoon was localized. I think it was a good decision, don't you?